Bjorn and Mabel. Um, and we were looking for a board and training, uh, dog training session uh, that was at least two weeks long uh, so that we could uh, instill some additional uh, skills in our dogs. They're both five, so we, we can teach old dogs to tricks. Uh, <laughs> sorry. You can edit that out. <laughs> um, I was really worried about having Mabel on, um, uh, I guess, it, it's a shock collar or a pressure collar, an e-collar, an e -collar. Um, because she, we had tried to put her on one before and she completely broke down. We she would go and hide. It wasn't she wouldn't be trained on it. She wouldn't listen on it. But obviously, as you can see, uh, she is now able to be on an e-collar, and I'm really excited to be able to start. Uh, letting her outside, working on her recall, um, without her having to be on a leash, because that was another thing I was really worried about. If she was ever out and not on a leash, that she would never come back to me. <laughs> so I'm um, really excited about what this training has provided us for her. And then for Bjorn. Yeah, Bjorn, he started off as like an awesome dog, just because burners are awesome dogs, and they're smart, and they listen, and they want to like, um, they want to please you, um, but what I've never been able to get him to do is to like um, contain himself when he's around people. And the first time I saw him, like in a Target, walking around without a leash, walking past typically women. He's a ladies' man, so like when he sees girls, he gets really excited because they use a high pitched voice and like, "Oh, you're so cute, I love you." And it wasn't phasing him at all. And um, I have no idea how you train him how to do that. <laughs> it was worth it was worth every penny of the two weeks. Yeah. Um, it totally works. So um, I am 